here and welcome to this webcast. My name is Ali Reza Zaidi. I'm DC Certified for Finance and Operation Consultant, specialized in SCM and Enterprise Asset Management modules. Uh, so, friends, uh, I was uh, I was going to test some scenario on life cycle states for product, but when I go there, I did not found the process enable process enable business processes so i can in enable disable these items for different types of transactions like purchase order sales order quotations and inventory transactions later I f so for this uh, feature enable i have to go in a lessons and then enable that uh, module and after that this this faster will be enable and effect on product so for this we have to go on a system administrator and then lessons configurations currently i am on dev machine that is hosted into my local vm but this is a lessons configuration and if i go under trade and here is engineering module so i have to enable attrib this feature so even here it did not allow me to enable this feature so I am going to run the command for convert the system into a maintenance mode for enabling the maintenance mode so I have to run the SQL server command I copied from this module and I paste here so it will be go and maintenance mode so before going further i want to reset some services mm, restart i net manager service and now i am going to refresh this form so now I am going to enable this button and click on save. So it asks me, I, do you want to save changes done to the configuration, items to be enabled, trade, change, engineering change management, change management for process manufacturing attribute search. I click on OK. Yes. If you are on cloud, this feature maintenance mode enable or disable can be done through lifecycle services. I am on a dev machine, so I use SQL Server command for this. Now I am going to disable this maintenance mode. I set zero and execute because when server is in a maintenance mode, a different bad jobs for bad job for Dynamics 365 for finance and operations are not working. So I disabled it. Now I am going again into the product management let's see these features are enabled or not product management and lifecycle state you can see enable business processes are there right 